Hey there everyone, Indro here and today we'll create this beautiful underwater mermaid scene. So it's been a long time I've been thinking about creating an underwater scene with a mermaid and jellyfish but finding some good free stock images is really a hard task. Now finally spending some 5 hours hunting for good stock images, I have ended up creating this. So you can find the link to all the stock images in the description section. Now this composition took about 5 hours to complete it and here I use different techniques like turning everything into some underwater color tones, adding some nice glow and painting the highlights. I really hope you like this video and the artwork. So let's get started. I started with my blank canvas and created a dark blue base color for my composition. Then I placed the image of the girl and used the Photoshop's latest subject selection to quickly create a rough selection and use select and mask to refine the edges. Then I used pen tool to cleanly cut her out from the background. With minor fine tunings, I scaled and positioned her according to her composition. Then I added the rocks for our ocean floor and then went ahead and placed the mermaid tail. I used the puppet warp tool to mold the tail according to the look that I was looking for. Now while doing that, we missed out her left hand. So I searched for another similar image and tried to replace the hand with the near one. I did some blending and some exposure adjustments but it might not look that cohesive and we'll try to hide our imperfections with shadows and highlights at a later point of our composition. Then I used the hue saturation layer to turn the tail into a nice blue color. With that done, it's time to recreate our underwater scene. For that, I used multiple coral reef images. I placed them and tried to find a good match between everything and used soft merging like creating a layer mask and using a soft round brush to remove parts of it and recreate our scene. I'm just paying attention over here towards the atmospheric depth, like things that will be nearer to us will be much detailed and will have a good variation in color, but things which are at a greater distance will look hazed out and will look kind of bluish because of the water in between the viewer and that object. I'm just placing some coral reefs at the very foreground. I'm using the select and mask to separate it out cleanly from the background. Now with that done, I created a solid color fill in the shade of dark blue, changed the blending mode to hard light and clipped it to our mermaid group and as you can see it will instantly cast a blue color cast on our image and make it look like it's underwater. I used that same layer onto each and every layer of coral reefs and I also mixed in some of the exposure layer to make things darken if needed. So now we have a nice underwater hue onto our overall image to work on. Next I patched up the sunscreen on her shoulder with some spot healing brush tool. And since she's already looking towards her shoulder, I got an idea that maybe I'll put a jellyfish over there and maybe we'll make it glow so that we can play with the lights on her face. Now with that thing in mind, I thought that it would be better if we add a little bit of smile onto our face. So I went into the liquify tool and in our face aware tools, I simply cranked up the smile slider just to add a little bit of smile onto our face. Next, I went ahead to blend the skin with the tail. What I did here was that I used a layer mask on the tail and painted away in between the scales and tried to make it look that it's blending with the skin. Then I'm replacing her dress with some seashell and pearl necklace. It's like the way we see in most of the popular mermaid characters. And this is the pearl necklace that I'll be using instead of the straps. So I painted on the layer mask to quickly hide the beads with a round brush and I inverted the layer mask to get a quick selection out of it. I used the puppet warp tool to warp the necklace and place it along the strap. 
Then I used a whole lot of clone stamp and spot healing brush tool to remove the straps. Then I used the pearl necklaces again and used the puppet warp tool to exactly align them where the straps were. Then I'm painting some hair manually. I tried to create a floating hair look and we definitely have seen that mermaids have long hair but I didn't do a good job over here and it looks a kind of messy. So I'll be replacing it with a nice hair PNG that I found. So this is the jellyfish that I went with to place on her shoulder. But at a later point of time, you'll see that I'll be replacing it with something else. So this is the nice hair that I found and I used the free transform warp section to warp it and mold it and align it to her natural hair. I'm also painting manually on the hair to get those nice fine hair strands. I made a copy of the long hair and placed it on the opposite side. Then I started placing the jellyfish that will be floating all over our composition. I simply changed the blending mode to screen and played with the levels a bit to get rid of the black background. Then I replaced the jellyfish on the shoulder with one of the jellyfish that's floating around and used another jellyfish and took some tentacles from it and created a new jellyfish because I had in mind that the jellyfish that will be floating close to her will be something special and I'll use a different color glow than the other jellyfish and play with the highlights. Now I used this image of the ocean and tried to create the top of the ocean so that we can get a nice beam of light coming from the top and it can add some surrealism and drama to our composition. Now I am adding some bubbles. I changed the blending mode to screen and also played with the blend if section to get rid of the dark background. With that done, it's now time to make the jellyfish glow. For that, I took a solid color fill with a shade of dark blue. I changed the blending mode to linear dodge. I added an inverted layer mask and then took a soft round brush and then with color white, I painted on the jellyfish. And as you can see, it's adding a nice glow. I kept painting the glow over each and every jellyfish. I also used filled blur from the blur gallery to blur out the distant jellyfish. Next I darkened up everything because now it will be time to play with the highlights. But before that I added some nice mist and fog onto our ocean floor that will also add up to our atmospheric depth and make the distant coral reefs look like they are at a distance. Then I added the glow layer for our special jellyfish and I went with the yellow color because I thought it would look pretty cool with the complementary blue color and add drama to our composition. So now I'm painting the highlights onto the girl's face. I took a solid color fill with a dark shade of orange, changed the blending mode to linear dodge. I played a bit with the blendive section and then added an inverted layer mask and painted on the layer mask with white to get the highlights. If you want to see in depth how I do the highlights for my compositions, I have a dedicated video for this. The link should be there in the description section. I really recommend you go and check it out and I think you'll like it a lot. Then I created another highlights layer but now in the shade of blue because now we'll be painting the highlights because of the blue glow from the jellyfish. I'm painting some fine highlights according to the scales in her tail. Now I'll be adding the contact shadow of the mermaid on the rock. For that I took some exposure layers, inverted the layer mask and painted on the layer mask with white to get some nice shadows. Here I'm adding some shadows that will be falling on her body because of the pearl necklace. Mm. 
now I'm adding some green glow and color cast that will be coming because of the light that is coming from the top of the ocean and the green color can add some more drama into our composition blending with the blue and the yellow. I'm manually adding some fine hair strands that should be glowing because of the ambient light. I'm painting the shadow in between her hand and the tail. I'm using the same exposure layer to paint the shadows. Here I have taken a blue color layer with linear dodges blending mode and I'm again painting some fine strands of hair that should be glowing in the ambient light. Here I'm making the parts of the environment glow because of all the lights that we have in our composition and this can add some finer details like make the shape of the reefs, coral reefs or the fish very distinct and make our whole image pop. Here I thought about taking a part of the scale from the tail and placing it on her arm because I thought that would make our character more interesting. I erased out in between areas of the scales, toned it down and added a layer with blending mode as color and painted with some skin tones to blend it with the skin. I'm adding some highlights precisely on the top right area because the scales should be in a beveled position from the skin and we should have some slight reflection from the yellow glowing jellyfish. Next I added a starfish because the rock on this area was looking kind of empty so I thought a starfish can fill it up. So that mostly completed our composition but I added some more water bubbles onto our background as you can see and I also spent some more time to paint those fine hair strands. If you want to learn how to make things glow like this, I have my next video covering that topic. So please stay subscribed so that you don't miss out that video. So if you like this video and this artwork, don't forget to like and share my video. I'll see you in the next one and till then enjoy creating.